Hello everyone, I am Abhishek Mishra from EMC Instruments, Noida. Today I am back with another useful video on ultrasonic pulse velocity tester. Actually, this is the, our best selling product and uh, most of the customer facing challenges while operating this instrument. So today I will show you how to operate this instrument and how to calibrate this instrument and also I will show you how to take actual reading on site. On yeah, I have got the instrument, here you can see it comes with nice packaging and the make of the instrument is MAE which comes from Italy and we are authorized dealer of MAE in India. On purchasing of this instrument we provide two years of guarantee and warranty. Okay, now let me show you the product. Here you can, here you can see in this you will get a med operating manual and warrant. This is CE certificate and you will get one warranty certificate of 24 months which is two year warranty we will provide and one is the calibration certificate okay let me put the one pair of cable through this cable we will connect the instrument okay now here you can see we have two transducers each transducer is 55 hertz transducers and here is the main unit and this one is the calibration bar Actually, this bar is 50.4 microsecond. In this bar, we will we will use to calibrate the instrument on this bar. Okay. Now here is the you will get one ultrasonic gel. This gel will be used for uh, eliminate the air gap. Okay. Now you and one USB cable you will get through this uh, you can charge the instrument and you will you can also take the data from the instrument on your PC via. So I am showing you the function of the instrument. First of all, you have to power on the instrument from here. Here you can find this power on switch. So we have to press at least five seconds. Then instrument will power on. Here you can see. Now you will get some menu. Uh, I'm telling you what is the uses of each and every menu. First one is the major. Uh, when we will uh, take reading, we will go in this menu. Next is probe distance. Before taking any reading, we have to set the distance of the uh, between the two transducers. So if you will enter in this, you will get the numbering key and everything. By this key, you will set the probe distance. And later I will show you how to use this uh, function. And another function is calibration. In this menu, you can calibrate the instrument. And one is the memory. Whatever data you will save, you can see here. Here you can see four data is saved. So you can see the reading of this. Okay. Now I'm showing you how to calibrate this instrument and how to use this instrument. First, now I'm going to show, show you how to use this instrument. First of all, we have to connect the transducer on this machine. So here is the cable. One you can connect here and another cable. One is transmitter TX and one is RX means receiver. So now this is the transmitter transducer you can connect any of them it will act as transducer receiver both here i have connected the instrument now now it is ready to take the reading so first of all see this calibration bar it is already mentioned here 50.4 microsecond is the reading of this calibration bar and the distance of this calibration bar is 12 centimeter so first of all we will set the distance probe distance here 12 centimeter okay here i have set 12 centimeter probe distance now i can take the reading now i'm applying coupland to remove the air gap Now we are placing the transducer on it. Okay, here yeah, you can see. I have placed in. Now we will go into measure. Okay, and here you can see there are two options available. One is manual and one is automatic. I will first show you on automatic mode how to take reading on automatic mode. Then I will show you on manual mode also. Okay, here yeah, you can see the reading is coming 50.1 microsecond or 50.0 microsecond. As earlier I have said, said 
here is you can see the calibration var it is 54 50.4 microsecond so now we will use calibration function to match the reading with the calibration var so we will go back here you can if you want to save the reading then you have to go back from this button if you don't want save you can go back from this button so we don't want save the reading right now so we will go back here and we will go in calibration here is the probe delay so we have to change the probe delay uh, it is showing here 50.0 uh, now i need 50.4 so i have to reduce the probe delay with 0.4 so right now it is 4.1 now i have to set it 3.7 so i will set it 3 3.7 okay now i will press enter now here you can see it is showing 50.4 microsecond now i am showing you in measurement mode also here you can see 50.5 50.4 50.4 second is reading coming so if you will adjust here little bit so it will be it will show you 50.4 microsecond here you can see it is showing 50.4 microsecond now our instrument is calibrated so we have seen the in automatic mode and now i am showing you how to take reading in manual mode so we will press in enter so in manual mode it is showing waiting trigger so in manual mode you have to press this up button every time uh, while taking the reading so if i press this here you can see 50.3 microsecond reading is coming if you now want to take another reading so you have to again press this button okay here you can see i have pressed it again and it is showing 50.4 microsecond correct reading okay now i will see you uh, on cube how to take reading on cube here i have the i have got a standard cube of 7.5 cm now i am showing you on this cube how to take the reading first of all we have to set the probe distance as earlier set 7.5 cm Seven point five centimeter. I have set. Now I will take the reading on Q. Here you can see reading on Q. Sixteen point six microsecond showing, and uh, we have set the distance of seven point five centimeter. That's why it is giving the velocity reading directly. If you will not set this distance, you will not get velocity. Here you will get zero microsecond. You will get only transit time. So as per your requirement, you can set the distance. It is depends on you. now i am sorry i will show the reading on actual site on column how to take reading on column okay it's on site here you can see the column and i have already measured the distance of this column it is 240 so 24 cm 240 mm now i am applying gel on this here you can see yeah okay it's okay i have applied the gel here and let me put the transition on it i have put the transition Please hold on reading on instrument. How much it is showing? Now, time is 68.6 microsecond, and as I have put the distance 24 centimeter, it is showing velocity 3501 meter per second. It means the quality of this column is very good, strength is very good. Okay. Now we have arrived in our office. If you need any further technical clarification on this, please do contact us. The mobile number is provided in the link. And if you want to purchase this instrument from us, because we are authorized. distributor in india please do contact us thank you thank you so much